Hi everyone, my name is Yaron, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this fun jumping rope animation in Procreate. If you want to see how I drew this sporty avocado, make sure to view the drawing video in the description below. So let's have a look of which layers I chose to have separately in order to animate them. I've created a group that contains the layers. We have the ropes, hands we might need, band, the face and the avocado nucleus body, shadow, and the background outside the group. We're going to tap on the wrench icon and toggle on the animation assist. The animation assist will appear below with our first frame. The first thing we're going to do is duplicate our group in order to create our second frame. We'll rename it into two, obviously. We'll start by modifying the rope. Tap on the arrow icon and choose wrap to play with the shape of the rope. Now I just fast forward the same action for the same process, duplicating the group and modifying the rope with the wrap tool to create the rope movement in the back of the avocado. As I move along with the process, I drew the next frame of the rope and not use the wrap tool, whatever is more comfortable to you. I chose for this animation to have 10 frames, which seems enough to me. On the 10th frame, the rope should be one step before its starting point, meaning in front of the avocado, right before it's get to the back of him. Let's test our rope animation first and see if we like it. That looks good for a start, we can always make adjustments. Now we'll create a mild movement with the hands as he spins the ropes. I'm adding the end of the lines of the rope to connect to the hands we just moved and going frame by frame to see if it makes sense. Let's have a look how it turns out. It's fine. We might want to have a few modifications as we proceed. Now we'll animate the legs, stretching them to touch our floor and above the rope. It's starting to look good and I'm quite happy with the movement of the legs. Next part we're going to animate is the body. We're just going to move it up and down accordingly and adding to the realism of the rope jumping. As you can see, I'm moving the body really slightly to make sure each frame pretty much the same ratio of movement. Thank you. 
By the way, you can always play with the animation assist settings and choosing how many onion skin frames you want to see if it disturbs you during the process. As you can tell, I have all of the onion skin frames turned on. Now it's really start to add up piece by piece. Let's animate the avocado sport bend to make the animation more realistic and enjoyable to watch. I'll move the bend according to the body movement. Let's have a look how it turns out. And now, to add more character to the animation, we'll use wrap on the bend to create a curvy animation during the jump. Now that's cool, all we left to do is the face, nucleus and shadow animation and we were done. Same thing here, moving the face with the body. Looking back of this, I would probably combine the body and face layers as they move along in the same timing. But we will want the nucleus movement to be different, to add more a cartoonist feel. Okay, now let's move that nucleus. What I want to do is to move the nucleus a bit more than the body with a slight leg in the animation. That what will create for us a cartoonist animation feel. Now that's cool. Okay, now let's take care of the shadow. What we will need to do is pretty simple. We'll need to make the shadow wider with low opacity as the avocado is above the floor and narrow with stronger opacity once it's touching the floor. And there you have it guys, a jumping rope animation. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and please share with me your results. I hope you had fun creating this as much as I had. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Have a great day!